These are, quite literally, the first few steps of Reward's brand new journey, or as he prefers to put it, his second chance in life. You see that guy from there? That was when I stood for the first time when I saw this place. It came to my mind, the Aquarius, like, wow. And do you think about Aquarius often? That was a new beginning of a new life. When you think that hope, hope is lost, yet a new door is open. No one will forget something of that nature. You're the last one! Reward Oko was the last person to disembark from the Aquarius three months ago, when the charity vessel found itself at the heart of a diplomatic crisis that threatened to split Europe apart. Aquarius spent days stuck at sea with 630 people on board after Italy decided to close its ports to refugees and migrants rescued in the Mediterranean. Malta said it wouldn't let the vessel dock either. The standoff ended when Spain agreed to provide a safe harbor to the men, women and children who had risked everything to get to Europe. <laughs> After disembarking in Valencia, reward was taken to Bilbao, where he applied for asylum. While authorities examine his case, which could take up to three years, he's been given accommodation and a small allowance so that he can feed and clothe himself. For now, his sole responsibility is to attend three hours of Spanish lesson per day. But reward is eager to do more. Free time, he says, is his worst enemy. Most of the time, sitting alone or sitting around the house, I mean, I get bored and sometimes some kind of flash memories can just come in like... What kind of memories? One of my friends, actually. He, I lost him in the prison. He was, well, it, he was arrested, but as time goes on, he died also within the prison premises. In Libya? Yeah, in Libya. Those who arrived in Europe aboard Aquarius bore different scars. Some had fled conflict. Others were escaping from equally crippling poverty. Now they get to experience a new reality, one that won't necessarily correspond to their dreams. You mentioned that your dream would be uh, to become a pilot. Do you feel as though you're a little closer to your dream now that we're sitting here in Bilbao? It's quite a beginning of, of the step, actually, it's, it's, it's a step because there, is, there, there can be more opportunity, more than in Africa, actually. But for now, we have to make some service. It will be a really, really long time. It will take a time. It might happen, but I don't know.